important shirt date is September 30th, so here is a little project we can do to honor our residential school survivors. Here's what we'll use today. I've got some paper, pencil, glue stick, tape, pencil crayons, markers if you have it, and some flyers. Again, we're going to lightly sketch a shirt. So here i got two lines that are parallel for the bottom of my shirt. Make it kind of a rectangular shape at the bottom. Here's my neck hole above that. Make some shoulders, draw some lines, and then we have our sleeves. We have a shape we like. We're going to make it a little darker so we can see what we're working with. And since it is orange shirt day, we'll add some New Hulk here. We'll add the New Hulk word for orange. I will not attempt to say it, but here it is on the screen. So we have orange, as in the physical orange, or the orange color. Now I'm going to begin by looking through my flyers here and looking for things that are orange. So if you see on the very front of this flyer, I've got these orange jugs of juice. So I'm going to just rip out pieces from these flyers or scrap papers or packaging that you have and make small pieces or large pieces, however big you want, to fill up the space on this shirt. I'm just going to quickly scribble some color on my t-shirt. And I'm still going to be ripping out pieces that I need, depending on the size of your shirt. Well, depend on how many pieces you need or how big they are. But here I am slowly ripping this orange juice jug from this flyer clipping, taking my time. There we are. So once we feel like we have enough pieces to fill our shirt, we're going to use glue and glue these pieces down or tape because my glue stick was actually dried out. So I'm going to secure my pieces all around, filling it up as much as I can. It's also why I colored my shirt orange first, so any of the little holes that are peeking through can be filled just like this, securing them all down with tape. Now that my shirt is completely covered in pieces, I'm going to cut mine out. This is optional. I'm going to cut out my shirt and then I'm going to place it onto some cardboard. So I'm just using a scrap piece of packaging box. I'm going to tape mine down again. My glue stick wasn't working. Just cutting it out, making it a bit more stable. So next, now that our shirt is cut out, uh, we're going to add our details. So at Excel to School, when you walk into our building in the front entrance, if you look to the left, there is actually a residential school survivor's plaque hanging on our wall. And this is what it looks like. So if you take a look, we have a big logo and we have some names of those who have gone through residential school. So here is a bit about this logo. It was done by Alvin Mack. And here are the names of the residential school survivors that are from our area. So what I'd like you to do is to take a read over, look at these names. Some of these might be your family members, your aunts, your uncles, your grandmas, your grandpas, or your cousins. I want you to pick one name to put on your orange t-shirt, or two, or three, to honor them in what they went through in residential school. So I've picked my name. I'm going to choose Eliza Saunders and I'm going to use a pencil and draw a light until I know it's right and know where I want my words to go. And then I'm going to go over it with a permanent marker to make it nice and bold. And now I'm just adding some small details 
a little heart here. I'm adding Every Child Matters. And on the sleeves, I wrote Strong and Loved. Again, this is for our residential school survivors. I can't wait to see what you created to honor our residential school survivors. Why?